What's up guys, it's me, Devin the Retro Gamer, and we're at the first extra video in Ratchet and Clank, and I feel so freaking bad for the cra the Quacko Ray fans, because I waited until I beat the game just to get that, so I feel so freaking horrible. So, to start off, we're gonna go to the first extra area that we got, which is the Starship Phoenix, of course. Hello, the Starship Phoenix, because we have to do the VR arenas and stuff. And I did none of them, just, you know, in preparation for this city, <laughs> this extra series and stuff. Sorry, this is like, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now, so I'm really groggy and tired. But, you know, we're going to get this all done. We got this, guys. So, uh, VR simulation, we're going to start with, a, you know, a little bit of a warm-up and stuff. A uh, good way to upgrade some of these weapons, actually. Um... Although, this was meant for, like, the beginning of the game. This was never meant for the end, so, yeah, we're gonna be like, uh, you know, a big OP mofo now, because we got all the good weapons, we got the good armor, and we can actually get this thing done pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Which, you know, it's pretty good. We can compact this into one video, you know. But hey, what can you do, my dudes? It's just life. Oh, this thing will not upgrade. Look at this. It is refusing to upgrade. Alright. Well, I think I want to try to upgrade weapons I haven't upgraded in a long time. Um, like the plasma whip. I haven't used this in, like, ages, so. I'm gonna use this again after so long. I feel bad, like I said before, for not upgrading it, because I, I really should have, honestly. That's stupid of me not to, but. And then I guess we'll try out the Quack Array because we haven't used it in the main campaign because I'm a freaking idiot. But yeah, uh, basically, uh, the Quack Array, basically every other freaking morph weapon, honestly. Nothing interesting. Oh, ow, 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 ow. That is not good. Okay. I actually could have died there in, uh, one of the most, uh, easy and... One of the most easy sections in this whole game. These VR sections are easy as pie. So, you know, yeah, if I failed that, then I would be a complete idiot. Just saying, you know, I mean, it kind of ruined your boy, the retro gamer's reputation, to be honest. And I, I know you guys wouldn't want that to happen, because you guys, you guys just think I'm so awesome, because I am the, you know, ultimate retro gamer, of course. I, there's no debate, we've, we've talked about this so many times extensively, guys. That I am the ultimate. I am the ultra. So, uh, yeah. I am, obviously. There's no debate. Yeah, and as you guys can see, you know, of course, these are the... Uh, the Gadgetron robots from Ratchet 1. If you guys remember them pretty well, I... I sure do, definitely. They weren't very nice people, I would say. And I'm gonna get a good amount of bolts, too, which, um... Yeah, I don't really need it for anything now that I think about it, because I got no weapons I want to buy. So, yeah, this is one of those, uh, you know, you know, one of those weird weapon cycling rounds that we gotta do, so... Yeah, we just gotta do it. No, it's freaking cringy, and it just, it just makes me want to cringe so hard. I don't know, it's just... It's like any other, uh, area where you have to use a weapon. Again, everything is overly easy. I'm literally, like, just cycling through these, you know? Which, um, I kind of expected because these are easy. Easy as pie. Again, like I said. Oh, oh, oh 500 bolts. My 500 counter feels good. Alright. Again, gotta get some extra help here, you know, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna kill these dudes. That's just what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, yeah. I don't think that these guys are gonna help me upgrade any weapons anytime soon. But, I mean, uh, it's giving me a lot of bolts. Even though I have no real use for it anymore. <laughs> hey, you know, who knows? Who really knows anymore, guys? I sure don't. What is life? 
That is a question that may never be answered, is honestly. Alright. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah, uh. Wow. This is so hard. I, I just, it's just so difficult, man. Like, this, like, the final boss of Ratchet 3, and, like, the final level of Ratchet 3 with all those difficult sniper guys, it's got nothing on this true difficultness that we're going through. Nothing. It's got nothing on this. There's no debate, no battle. This is, uh, hard AF. It's hard AF. <laughs> like my, uh, like my, uh, nothing. Because I am a, I am a Christian man, you know. So you gotta exercise that calmness, you know, you can't get too weird, guys. You learn that when you're a retro gamer to not get dirty. Alright. Uh... I think I might be able to finish this at one point, honestly. There's no way I wouldn't be able to. That's that's definitely what I think, honestly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're doing good with a rift inducer, of course. Sadly, only works on smaller enemies, so... Yeah, I don't like that. That triggers me. But it works on these, you know, Ratchet 1, Gadgetbot... Gadgetron robot things, so... <laughs> So who am I to complain, you know? Like, honestly. Why would, a, why would a civil retro gamer like me complain about something so jovial and, and non-important such as that, honestly? I just, I just couldn't take myself to doing that, you know? It's, just, it's not the retro gamer way, of course. Man, dude, like... It feels so good because every one of my weapons feels OP again. I haven't had that feeling in such a long time, honestly. And that's good game design, you know, props to Insomniac for uh, not making me OP as fuck for the end of the game. Because I know they do that in the newer Ratchet games, especially the 2016 game. That game was easy, like really easy. It was actually quite sad how easy it was. Like, hard mode, right? Hard mode is easier than the default mode in Ratchet 1. How do you do that? Like, I don't even know anymore. It's crazy, guys. I, it's really strange, but I don't know. I don't know. You just have to ask Insomniac why they decided to completely butcher Ratchet and Clank 1 and make it all uh, hideous and stuff and take out all the dirty jokes. Which, you know, good gameplay still. I still enjoy the new game. I just... Personally, myself, I don't like it as much as the uh, original. And I've stated that plenty of times. I don't know if I stated that in my review, but, you know. Hey, what can you do? You can't do anything, that's the thing. Alright, this is the last stage, guys, and then I guess we'll end off this video because that was our whole mission, guys. After that, we've got nothing left in life. You know, we're just gonna... Just end ourselves, guys, you know? There's nothing else to do. Alright, oh. Uh, oh, uh, the. Oh. Uh, man, these, these bouncing balls really. Just really, um. I don't know, it's just. It's make me feel happy. That didn't sound gay at all. Nope. Not at all. Yeah, wow, this really is Nurse of Titanium, isn't it? Even though I'm demolishing everybody in, uh, you know, one foul swift swoop, you know? It's actually, again, I keep saying it's actually... I'm repeating, like, I don't know, it's a problem I have in every series. I repeat some sort of line all the time, you know? At least I'm not saying a gay Shane joke anymore. <laughs> At least that's good. I know, it's hard to joke around, because, like, it's, like, late at night right now. It's, like, 2 o'clock in the morning right now for me. And, uh, you know, my grandpa's sleeping and stuff, so... I'm trying not to be really loud, man, but, like... I feel like I should have recorded this in the morning, but, you know... It's better to get done earlier. Uh, you know? Because in the morning, my grandpa has work, so, you know... He's, he's busy, so I don't have any 
distraction. No, no offense to him. No offense whatsoever. But you know, when you're when I'm recording, I usually try to find like good times when he's not like watching TV or something or doing something else. Just just so I'm out of his way with my commentary, you know, and he doesn't have to hear me and I don't have to hear him watching TV. I'll sometimes do it while he's watching TV, because you know. Yeah. But you guys get my point, you know. It's like a mutual agreement. That that's the whole thing, you know. That's the whole thing of it. The whole crux. It's the whole crux of it. Alright. I want to get this over with, bro. We're almost done, though, so... Uh, hey. Perfect timing, though, honestly. Like, we're about close to, like, 11 or 12 minutes, and that's... That's about the time frame I was kind of looking for for this video, so... I am quite happy in my pants. I will say that. And I know it sounds strange, but, but I am quite happy in my pants. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I totally am, though. This totally isn't a weird... Awkward joke, making myself sound really horny and weird. Uh, it's totally real, guys. Totally, totally actually happened. You know, I'm, I'm totally a weirdo like that. Yeah, for real, I totally am. You know, it's just, just pure bliss, you know? Pure boredom, that's for sure. You can find a long wave of enemies for like a good bit of time. And I almost feel bad for uh, future me who's going to have to do the uh, Annihilation Nation videos when he has to do like a hundred rounds, bro. Now that's going to suck. Can I do it? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. I got my sexy titanium bolt. Alright, so we did uh, every VR game pretty much, so uh, yeah. We're actually going to go straight to the next area that we need to go to before we, you know, end the video off and stuff. We have, like, nothing else really good to buy, honestly. Except we do have one thing. I want to I wanna make my ship look fabulous. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to give it a good color. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, green. Yeah. Yeah, boy. It's about time I customize my ship. All right, so let's see. All right, so next one is Annihilation Nation. So we're gonna go there and uh, you know do some arena challenges and stuff that we would need to do to do the important things. But yeah, now my ship looks uh, looks customized and. <laughs> Man, dude, my freaking English tonight, dude. Or this morning, uh, whatever. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna do all this in the next part, and I'll see you guys then, and I'm out. Peace.